Results will, of course, decide if the change from Unai Emery to Kike Setien in the Villarreal dugout turns out to be a success. San Mamés was a tough test, but there were signs that the new coach is having a positive influence. Nevertheless, the yellow submarine went down to a direct rival. It's a good turn from Raul Garcia, a great pass, Iñaki, clean through, can he finish? Yes, he can! It's Iñaki Williams with... Villarreal's fourth defeat of the season means they now sit outside the European places. Even more motivation for them to do the business against Mallorca, but whatever they get up to, they'll probably have to do it without Los Elso. Still, Villarreal have done pretty well at home this season where, despite missing some of their best men up front to injury, they've only dropped two points. Be that as it may, everyone at the club is eager that Dan Yuma gets back to his very best as soon as possible. Jackson heads for the byline, the cross comes in and has been turned in brilliantly! That said, their opponents have earned more than half of their points away from home. The Island Club are always a tough nut to crack. Javier Aguirre, who won't be in the dugout due to suspension, has built a team based on a solid defence which strives to frustrate their rivals. And up front, Murici is always ready to seize on any opportunity that comes his way. He's already scored five this season. As Gonzalez plays the ball across, and it's helped in over the line! After winning their last away trip at Mestalla, Javier Aguirre's Mallorca will now be looking to continue that form with another triumph on the road. It's a tough test for Villarreal, who will need to show patience if they're to grab their first points with Kike Setien in the dugout.